It seems that legislators all over the world set excessively high electrification goals. As a result, manufacturers that have access to the full sales and market data are slowing down the switch to all-electric powertrains and starting to introduce more plug-in hybrids to their lineups. Today, we'd like to give an overview of the newest PHEVs for those who still want a gas engine as a backup. And let's get started. BMW X3 30E xDrive the new 2025 BMW X3 arrives with a host of design improvements and a reworked engine portfolio. Now, you can choose between 2.0-liter gasoline and diesel engines with mild hybrid technology, a sporty 3.0-liter six-cylinder engine with twin-power turbo, and a highly efficient plug-in hybrid setup with an auxiliary 184-horsepower electric motor integrated into the 8-speed transmission. Unfortunately for American consumers, the PHEV model will not be offered on the continent. The plug-in hybrid powertrain features a 2.0-liter four-cylinder gasoline mill, the aforementioned e-motor, and a 19.7 kilowatt-hour battery pack to produce 299 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of peak torque. The higher-capacity battery now offers up to 56 miles of electric-only driving and supports 11 kilowatt AC charging, so it only needs two and a half hours to recharge. Powertrain improvements aside, the newcomer boasts a slight increase in dimensions, giving more room for the rear passengers and up to 1,600 liters of volume. A bold silhouette with sporty side skirts, a roof spoiler, a glowing kidney grille with a geometric pattern, and a premium cabin with a BMW curved infotainment display. Ford Ranger PHEV Ford execs decided that the adoption of a plug-in hybrid powertrain is the next step in the generational overhaul for the Ranger truck. The PHEV setup combines the brand's 2.3-liter EcoBoost gasoline engine with an electric motor and an 11.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack. The torquiest model in the current Ranger lineup puts out 271 horsepower and 508 pound-feet of torque of combined output. The vehicle has four available driving modes, one of which could be used to charge the high-voltage battery on the go. Ford is committing to approximately 27 electric miles on a full battery. Moreover, the PHEV powertrain could also be used as a generator, powering appliances with peak consumption up to 6.9 kilowatts. Standard equipment includes an E four-wheel drive system, and the company aims for a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds. Externally, this model can be identified by the PHEV lettering on the sides, new 18-inch alloy wheels, matrix LED lights, Ford's Pro Power outlets in the cargo bed, as well as durable material combinations and a 10-speaker audio system in the cabin. Toyota Crown Sport Last year, for the international market, Toyota introduced a brand new crossover model called the Crown Sport. The five-seater is characterized by a muscular exterior and large 21-inch wheels. However, this year, for the domestic market, the manufacturer went even further and made a more advanced Crown Sport variation with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. It consists of a 2.5-liter inline-four engine and two electric motors that transfer 302 horsepower to the wheels via an all-wheel drive system. The estimated battery-only range is 56 miles, while the fuel consumption in the hybrid mode is equal to 48 miles per gallon. Once depleted, the batteries need up to 5 hours of charging from the standard home outlet or about 40 minutes at the public charging station. Moreover, this powertrain supports the vehicle-to-home technology and can be used as a backup electricity source during blackouts. MG HS SUV After the takeover several years ago, the MG brand became one of the biggest advocates of zero-emission transportation in the UK. For the 2025 model, the company stands by its decision and is expanding its electrified lineup with the updated PHEV model called HS SUV. Compared to the previous generation model, the HS SUV grew across all dimensions, giving more legroom for the passengers and 500 liters of carrying capacity. Although the engine choices include a gas-only powertrain, the PHEV version with a 1.5-liter turbo engine and an auxiliary 154-horsepower e-motor sounds much more exciting. 
It uses a 24.7 kilowatt hour battery pack to provide 75 miles of electric only riding. The newcomer's design tweaks include a more prominent grille with slimmer headlights, reshaped taillights that nearly merge into a light bar, 19 inch wheels, and a 12.3 inch display in the interior. It seems that modern plug in hybrids offer as much range as early all electric cars 10 years ago. Should the industry develop PHEVs or are all electric cars the right way to go? Please share your thoughts below and we'll keep rolling. McLaren W1 The successor to the iconic P1 hypercar is finally here, and it's easy to understand why McLaren has waited so long before publicly presenting it. The highly exclusive McLaren W1 is scheduled for production in 2026, but will only end up in the garages of 399 lucky car enthusiasts. The hypercar stays in line with modern electrification trends and brings a PHEV powertrain, relying on a 4.0-liter V8 engine with a twin turbocharger and an auxiliary electric motor juiced by a 1.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. With the combined output of 1,275 horsepower and 988 pound-feet torque parameter, the newcomer boasts a 217 mile per hour top speed and a 2.7 second record for the 0 to 60 mph sprint. To achieve stellar track capabilities, the W1 received a lightweight chassis and a Formula One-inspired aerodynamic kit that ensures up to 2,205 pounds of downforce. Despite having supreme track adaptations, the W1 is a road-going vehicle, so its interior has an 8-inch infotainment touchscreen with the support of Apple CarPlay and a premium stereo system. Audi A3 Sportback TFSI E This year, Audi has announced a significantly reworked and improved version of their PHEV A3 Sportback model. The newcomer has a series of chassis adaptations that properly distribute the weight of the enlarged 25.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. Moreover, the battery now supports 50 kilowatt DC fast charging and standard 11 kilowatt home charging, while granting up to 88 miles of electric only driving. The German giant offers two powertrain options for the A3 Sportback. The base 40 TFSI E uses a 1.5 liter turbo gasoline engine and an auxiliary E motor to produce 201 horsepower and 258 pound feet of combined output. The Sporty 45 TFSI E option raises the yield to 268 horsepower and 295 pound feet. This setup lets you sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and reach the top speed of 147 miles per hour, while the indicators for the base model are 7.4 seconds and 139 miles per hour respectively. The 45 TFSI E also brings blacked out exterior elements, red brake calipers, and a premium interior with black sport seats. Bentley Flying Spur Speed This year, Bentley made sure that their muscle sedan model remained competitive in its respective market segment. The powertrain of the upcoming Flying Spur was subject to electrification, so now it's represented by a 600-horsepower twin-turbo V8 with a 4-liter displacement and an e-motor with a 190-horsepower output. With the combined output of 782 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque, the 2025 Flying Spur is the brand's most capable four-door ever. To stay in line with modern zero-emission trends, the vehicle can work in electric-only mode up to 87 miles per hour and offers up to 47 miles of driving on a 25.9 kilowatt-hour battery alone. The visual changes are subtle but noticeable as you get a redesigned grille, revised front bumper, a more distinct rear diffuser, new 22-inch wheel options, and over 100 standard colors to choose from. Inside, you get a Bentley level of luxury, a quieter cabin owing to the installed animated acoustic glass, a standard 10-speaker audio system, an air ionizer, and modern infotainment with the support of wireless CarPlay. Skoda Superb IV Despite the growing interest towards compact SUVs and crossovers, Skoda still believes that sedans and wagons are the ultimate family cars, 
so their superb model gets a host of updates for the 2025 model year. The vehicle is offered in two body variations and has six powertrain options on offer. The most economical option is the brand's second-generation PHEV setup with a 1.5 TSI gasoline engine and an auxiliary 150-horsepower electric motor built into the six-speed DSG transmission, transferring power to the front wheels. The e-motor is powered by a 25.7 kilowatt-hour battery pack, ensuring up to 75 miles of electric-only driving. The battery supports both home charging at the 11 kilowatt rate and DC fast charging at 50 kilowatts, so the full recharging process could take as little as 30 minutes. Kia Sorento PHEV The refreshed 2025 Kia Sorento PHEV has a muscular stance with body design elements, three new exterior colors, 19-inch alloy wheels, and a new tech-heavy interior with the dust blue color scheme. The interior equipment includes a 4.3-inch TFT and 12.3-inch screen instrument panel combination for the base model, or two 12.3-inch screens inside a curved panoramic panel for the higher spec trims. Besides the more advanced infotainment screens, the non-base trims add suede headliners and ventilated front seats. On the powertrain front, the plug-in hybrid system of the Sorento harnesses the power of a 1.6-liter turbocharged GDI i4, a supplementary electric motor with a 90-horsepower yield, and a 13.8-kilowatt-hour battery to channel it through a six-speed automatic transmission. The resulting output is estimated at 261 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, while the all-electric range can reach 30 miles. Porsche Panamera Turbo S E-Hybrid and Panamera GTS For the latest generation Panamera, Porsche designers installed standard matrix LED headlights and added a new air inlet to ensure that the upgraded engines do not suffocate. The new Panamera was announced with an exclusive 8-speed dual-clutch PDK transmission and either rear or all-wheel drive variants. The range-topping models of the current Porsche Panamera lineup are the plug-in hybrid Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid and the Panamera GTS, which solely relies on internal combustion power. By using a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine with 493 horsepower of peak output, the GTS manages to hit the 60mph mark in just 3.6 seconds and continue onward to the limited top speed of 188mph. By harnessing the additional power from a 187 horsepower electric motor, the Turbo SE Hybrid generates the combined output of 771 horsepower and 737 pound feet of torque. Owing to this power boost, the 0 to 60 time is slashed to 2.8 seconds, while the top speed limiter reaches a 202 mph mark. Besides giving a substantial power boost, the PHEV powertrain with a 25.9 kilowatt hour battery pack brings better efficiency and up to 54 miles of zero-emission driving. The interior changes include a dashboard remake with a 12.6 instrument cluster and dual 10.9-inch screens for the infotainment and a separate passenger display. This was the last entry in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching and may the torque be with you.